I like as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's made out of coffee bean waste and recycled plastic bottles. Wow, it's that's it's great. Circular economy stuff. Oh my gosh, we have some students working on a, a dress made of recycled <laughs> plastic. Oh cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah, this is called uh, Ecotech, I think A-C-O-P-E-X. So okay. like Gore-Tech, but uh, nice. ecologically okay. friendly. I'm just impressed with your coming out of the secret room. Yeah, out that of the pretty, closet. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like, literally out of the closet. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> cool, yeah. Thanks for meeting with us today. Uh -huh. um, it's funny we're talking about the, the clothing, yeah. right? Because the trick is next to our big school project this year. So uh, we can continue with that theme of you know, clothing the circular. Upcycling. That's right. Oh, yeah. Upcycling. Upcycling. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and we're doing an upcycling project, but I, I feel like we're taking it to even a higher level than mm -hmm. most upcycling. Because we're going to repurpose oh. the plastic. So not clothes, but hats. Yeah. <laughs> hats. Yeah. Um, or like we're we're going to build like rock uh -huh. building materials. Oh, cool. So we're going to yeah, awesome. uh, construct things for our community. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so we're here to tell you about our project a little bit. Mm -hmm about some of our best teachers um, in our PBL school. And then in, in hopes of uh, when you visit in December, you have a kind of a right mindset. <clears throat> so this is the, the dress rehearsal? A bit, or just like <clears throat> just to, to get to know the project, right? Because we, uh -huh. we hope the more important people that are into this recycling, and also PBL, right? Because mm -hmm. our mission is to bring PBL to Taiwan as a mm -hmm. different learning method, right? That's right. Um, so just the more people get on board, with that the better so mm -hmm. i hope you come and support us mm -hmm. i think the project is cool it's going to motivate everybody mm -hmm. that's why we're here today Dang. yeah you guys so want to add anything julie is a big fan she's really I'm just she really might be a little shy of this movie. Yeah. <laughs> cool you want to hear about our project please okay cool um so our project is called the sea change project okay um you know just a small idea becoming mm -hmm. a revolution right through yeah. this plastic recycling um, it also literally changed the scene. Exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> like less marine debris. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. So um, some of the things we're working with a community community partner um, who does some of this plastic processing for us, kind of like mm -hmm. some simple machines like this with heat. And, yeah. And so we have this massive Japanese plastic shredder at school, and we started a recycling program, and uh, through our PBL each subject is kind mm -hmm. of responsible for a different aspect of the project. Okay. So for example, the engineering class built our sorting station, right? And so they designed it and sketched it and built it. Now the kids are bringing in plastic, we're feeding it through the shredder, mm -hmm. um, and we're producing just lots and lots of plastic flakes mm -hmm. separated by plastic type. Mm -hmm. um, and then we deliver those plastic shreds um, to our community partner, Taiwan for Recycling mm -hmm. Co. We're a bunch of surfers who live in Dulan, yeah. in the Taidong area, and they're being surfers, they wanted to clean up the beach, so they started this recycling company. And we ended up meeting and talking to them, and I said, this is really good for a PBL project, mm -hmm. uh, to do something real like this. Um, so, you know, uh, their mission is, you know, educating Taiwanese on the importance of recycling, but also uh, finding innovations to for the plastic pandemic and pollution problem mm -hmm. in our environment, right? And then cultivating a circular economy revolution through community initiatives and industrial partnerships. So our branch is, we're, we're the school branch for them. Um, and we're working with them. So our whole curriculum is built around this shredding of plastic, right? Mm -hmm. uh, learning science of plastic, mm -hmm. learning of marketing through, through uh, promoting this idea. And ultimately what we do build is gonna be for the community. Um, so some examples of things we can do are you know, these kind of things, mm -hmm. right? just mm -hmm. molds and um, like Lego blocks. Yeah, we can you know melt mm -hmm. shoot it into a mold, let it let it cool off, and we can do Lego mm -hmm. projects, right? Or even things like something like this, where it's mm -hmm. artistic angle, right? Mm -hmm. or something like that, put on your desk mm -hmm. or whatever. Pretty good. Yeah. So um, yeah. so we're kind of we takes a lot of effort, but through all that effort. In the partnership, we can produce these raw materials, mm -hmm. and then it's up to the kids to figure out what do we do with this, right? And then, when if we build something for the community, it's also just sharing this idea. So we're going to QR code it. Someone sitting on a bench we made and somewhere, right? We're, we want to build things and make community come together and just have conversations. Mm -hmm. 
maybe they scan the code. What's is it? a chair? Talks to them. Yeah, or something, right? Like, you know, you, it's weird plastic chair they're sitting on. They're like, mm -hmm. interesting. They scan the code, and like, mm -hmm. you're sitting on 9,000 water bottles, run through it, you know, and then they can start thinking about recycling. That's awesome. Yeah, and so the problem is, time one's really good. I, mean, I think we recycle. 90% of what can be recycled, mm -hmm. but the capacity is only 70%, actually, so 30% just gets burned. So we're trying to trying to get that 30% down uh, as much as we can. And we hope this program we're piloting this year can be like copy and pasted at other schools. It's not that hard. Right? It's fairly simple technology. Mm -hmm. And why can't we do it in every single school? That's right. And then we can actually get the 30% down. It's just a really, I think, a really powerful project. And a good backbone for for learning content, right? Because it has a purpose. So that's it in a nutshell. You guys want to add anything? Well, yeah. I was just gonna say that like the interdisciplinary aspect is pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, having like a marketing team work with I, you know, I do like music and mm -hmm. like software or like music engineering with them and trying to figure out how we can all make it work about like sea change and upcycling and it's just it's like fun problem solving and the students get pretty into mm -hmm. it which is fun but there's a, a same track for the sea change too like yeah well, we're working on it oh, getting wow. there yeah. awesome yeah we have i think 70 students and they all have mm -hmm. specialties almost but they cross over so much you know like we're making a video there's a group making a a, a, hit, a video about the history of plastic mm. how have humans become so reliant on this you know what were, what were humans before plastic where we are now and where is it going and they're like i might need some cool music i need some scary music so we go to chess class right. like music mm -hmm. team i need okay, to like scary music and then right. we can teach through that and so it's just a lot of things that need to line up well right but uh it's a cool model because it's just kind of how the real world works when you're doing projects yeah it's like mm -hmm. basically like a an ecosystem that is like a smaller version of what's happening in the world when we're all trying to tackle a similar problem there's going to need to be like a lot of cross collaboration and so they're really practicing like from what i see every day it's like they're practicing a lot of like problem solving and they're practicing like a lot of design and also yeah like, social skills exactly <laughs> research and reaching yeah. out to each other and seeing how like how each subject they might seem very different but how they can mm -hmm. actually cross and benefit from each other I think that's something like, really exciting and different for them because they're used to like really categorizing like different types of like being viewed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. So called disciplines. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know the uh, modern world, you have to be good at a lot of things. Be creative mm -hmm. and be able to communicate. And, you know, like the old days where you're really good at one thing are gone. Right. So uh, mm -hmm. just kind of excited to bring this model mm -hmm. to, to Taiwan. And it's really interesting watching our students adapt to it. Mm -hmm. so we're getting students from. Mm -hmm very traditional schools and we're just throwing at them this new learning environment and it's really fun to watch them adapt to it mm -hmm. um, and, and I'm a big believer in PBL I've been doing it for a long time in California and things so seeing it work there quite well and I'm really happy with it, the way the Taiwanese kids are yeah sh sh they're changing so rapidly it's they really, really cool. are so like recently we had SLC which is called like it stands for student-led conference mm -hmm. and so it's kind of like a play a twist on parent teacher conference so where the t student actually leads and reflects on their own performance at school and we got to meet a lot of the, the parents and a lot of the feedback that we got was like uh, the the students they changed and improved in such a short amount of time and there a lot of them are actually really excited to go to school and like um, bringing in the whole family as well into their project and like some families are saying they feel like they're they're a part of the sea change project as well um, some families are like I've never heard my child speak this much in the last five years <laughs> it's like wow okay. yeah, they have very really nice things to say exactly. if you give them space right? yeah they're self motivated because they're doing what they want to be doing that's and right. they're in charge of their own project so <clears throat> that's like what is really exciting them yeah. we have one new student come from the Taipei First Girls High School. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a top one girls high school in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So I asked her why she made a decision to come to VIS. She told me she wanted to get a totally different learning experience in VIS. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's plasticity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> the clear words. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, she's it's fun to watch her change. Uh -huh. She's getting like when I first met her, like hi Mia. She's like, you know, like, this like deer in headlights look and. And now we're like talking about 
the design for the table she wants to build. They found some industrial wooden mm -hmm. spools that they were using, and she's like, oh, I think I should do it like this. And we're just throwing ideas around, and the, the scared look is like faded away. Yeah, there's a real sense of community you know, now, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. And we don't go by like Mr. McMahon or Miss Cowley, it's mm -hmm. just like Patrick, Julia, Chet, trying to, I don't know, like a Silicon Valley sort of vibe. Mm -hmm. sure. Just kind of mm -hmm. relaxed, and creativity doesn't happen at this certain time or this certain way. It's, kind of breathe, breathe the culture first. The culture is right, and then creativity can be grown mm -hmm. in the garden, right? Um, so just kind of breaking down those barriers. And after you have the right culture, it's really just watering the garden. Exactly. Right, it's just mm -hmm. kind of, you know, try to do the hands off as possible, let them develop their ideas. If they get off track, you know, keep them together. But mm -hmm. they really do most of the work, and that's the beauty of it. It's teaching in reverse, too. So us planning every minute of every day, let them take the reins, and sometimes they take it in a better direction than we thought possible. From my experience, yeah, yeah. yeah. The time these kids are doing great. Cool. Yeah, I'm so proud of them. <laughs> yeah. Any questions for us? Yeah. So, so when I visit, um, how can I help? Um, from your last visit, I uh, got the impression that you think PBL is a nice model, right? Because you were talking about self-study was the way that you like to learn uh -huh. yourself, right? Yeah, and PBL is a, has a lot of avenues for self-study, but a little bit of guidance, right? Yeah, I understand and, that. With, with some purpose, too, right? Mm -hmm. So if you could advocate mm -hmm. for... Purpose-based learning. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. you know, you're doing something real and mm -hmm. authentic and that helps the world. This is mm -hmm. what it's about. You guys are so lucky to be in a school like mm -hmm. this, right? Because mm -hmm. we have some students who have bought in and they love it. Some are still like, oh, oh, the it's just going to help me with my SAT. They're like, why are we doing this? <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah, and we just want to be like, be like all, everyone that's been through high school and college just kind of knows, but before you go through that, you're just nervous, right? You're nervous about new ways of learning. I don't know, I've never been through college. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, like, people who've been definitely. through life know what yeah. really yeah. takes to, to learn and be successful, yeah. right? And it's um, not reading textbooks and no. following directions mm -hmm. from your teacher. Yeah. But they just have this uncertainty about the future, right? And mm -hmm. The future is changing. But it's all about like what skills do you need to be successful, okay. right? And then maybe they can connect it to a PBL environment where like, oh, this is a good place to practice these skills. Mm -hmm. So you know, uh, maybe just sharing your story about critical thinking, problem solving, mm -hmm. sure. how you work with others to figure things mm -hmm. out. Um, I'm sure you have some really cool stories and mm -hmm. anecdotes. And, yeah. So, so yeah. what do you think about a format? I mean, last time I, I think uh, we used Slido. And mm -hmm. there's some pretty good uh, questions there, uh, yeah. and also some like real time back and forth. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and and so so I, I wonder if that still is a good format or if you would like a uh, change in format. I'm I'm very open. Slido is cool because mm -hmm. it's anonymous and you can really ask what they want to ask. Exactly. You just filter out the silly questions. That's right. Right? That's right. And it's important just not to be like who mm -hmm. asked that silly question. Mm -hmm. Every question is good. That's right. Right. So Slido is nice because. It gets the quiet ones to speak up, right? I think that would be cool just to mm -hmm. start things off. Okay. I would love to see just some town hall, maybe not a stage and audience, but just more of like a circle. Okay. Right, a kind of a Socratic sure, seminar sure. of sorts. Yeah, let's do a circle. Yeah, like a kind of a circle and exchanging ideas. And, um, you know, maybe we can show you some of the projects that we're currently working on. We love getting feedback and critique sure. from smart people. Sure. Um, so maybe they can kind of present some of the things they're working on and you can tell us what you think. And yeah, 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 they'd be so excited about that. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, instead of like a, just a really formal, like, I'm here to present and see you later, right? Like, just to do something more mm -hmm. organic, it would be nice. Okay. Uh, but okay. we can help because we do have 70 students or so. So the format, mm -hmm. more good. I also know that you work a lot in technology and yeah. education. I think yeah. a lot of our students are really interested in that. So maybe sharing yeah. some of your kind of, come kind of that insight would be interesting. Okay. Right. Yeah, I, uh, I just had a talk at a Gaussian American school, both for the um, middle school uh, level, but also the high, higher uh, school level. Mm -hmm. um, and I think one of the, the tricks that, that we tried is to uh, still use the Slido, but kind of announce the Slido link before the talk itself. Mm -hmm. So that when students uh, want my feedback on a particular project, 
they get they can just you know enter the project's website address or something uh, in in a slide there. So as to basically give uh, the whole community uh, maybe a week or two um, to just pre-vote um, and. Um, of course, uh, in the that that kind of cuts down this potency a little bit because then you kind of can already see the kind of framework of the talk. On the other hand, it's co-created by students, yeah. um, so I, I mean I, I'm open to try that too. But it's up to you. I like that because through the feedback at the yeah. feedback question section yeah. rise to the top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I was also like the spontaneity. Of I know. Slow. Too right. I know. I know. So we could no. It's still slide though. It's just um, like. Uh, Voting uh, before the voting day, basically. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, like, like what's happening at the U.S. right now. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can decide to vote before really the date of voting. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, then the really good questions will rise to the top. You can even mm -hmm. open up a new one. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, it's more more deliberative. Okay, in a sense. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Um, do you guys know slide slide up? No. No. It's like a. Uh, yeah, it's like you put up a PowerPoint and there's a link through your yeah. phone and you just ask questions and yeah. then people yeah. are like, if you like yeah. that question, you thumbs up and yeah. rise sure. to the top. Mm. Like, that's right. Okay. Presenter just chooses, you know, live mm. real quick feedback about. It. Yeah. 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 I think if we if we do that, maybe let, let's try a even more extended um, deliberative period, right? So um, the talk is December seventh. So, yeah. So maybe we start like a month, a full month, oh, okay. months. Cool. Yeah, and like the other business, uh, and and see what the students have to decide. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, do we want to frame the questions a little bit, or you, is it going to be like no, I think ask Audrey yeah. whatever you want? That's right. Uh, I'll right. just call it ask Audrey anything. Ask okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the triple A. Ask Audrey. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. so. um. One, one, like something that I've noticed with the students during PBL is some of the ones that aren't as motivated, I feel like just haven't really understood like the concept very well yeah. or like understood really kind of see the big picture. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see the big picture when you are like living your life. Like you haven't, you don't really know what like life's really mm -hmm. about and how you fit into like the entire world. Yeah. And so sometimes they don't, know how they can't imagine how what we're doing right now might be able to contribute to the bigger picture mm -hmm. and also some of them even if they have some sort of concept about that they're having trouble uh, like fathoming that it might even make a difference mm -hmm. and so I think having a social impact yeah uh, exactly yeah. and so I am I'm, I'm thinking like maybe something that you might be able to share might be mm -hmm. your perspective on how something that seems like it unimpactful mm -hmm. through the spreading of ideas. That's right. Um, if it's idea worth spreading, they spread it to more than one person. Um, raising the basic transmission rate above one, then it will get viral. See change. Yeah. Yeah. See change. Yeah. yeah, I think like having mm -hmm. your perspective on that, um, it might make them feel like what they're doing right now could actually make a difference. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. An angst ridden teenagers. Well, yeah. No matter what yeah. I do, the world's mm -hmm. going to be doomed. But. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily true, right? Yeah, so and even, even when the world is done, I mean, there's many worlds in the galaxy. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Maybe one of them can start working on a spaceship made out of that's plastic. Right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Like you mentioned the transporter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so I've already created the, the Slido link. Uh, it's at okay. slido.com slash uh, 1207. Uh, so the date, basically. Okay. Uh, so, so 1207. Uh, and you can already see the, the question. So if you want okay. to frame it or structure it uh, some way, you can do it anonymously <laughs> and, yeah. and just uh, have some seed questions. Uh, my experience is that maybe as much as nine uh, and before you just share it to the students. Uh, but you can, of course, um, ask uh, from a prospective faculty too. Um, it, it's all it's all kosher um, as long as, uh, of course, it's relevant to students, and you don't have a you know means the problem of that being downloaded. Uh, then yeah, yeah. they were totally fine. Yeah. So like slido.com slash twelve oh seven. That's right. It's right next to that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. And then once you've already seen it, you just share with students. Okay. Do you have any media that you want to share with us? It's like the Audrey story. Yeah, depending on um, the questions. Okay. I just want to teach the kids about who you are first. Too. Yeah. Some kids know, but 
uh -huh. some gives don't, right? Uh -huh. So is there Yeah, but but depending on the questions, uh, I'll frame it. So frame it that way. I'll okay. frame it that way. Um, uh, is there a book about you or something that we can yeah, there is a book recommend? about me. Actually yeah, that's okay. just published today. Oh <laughs> wow. <laughs> but it, it, it's a Mandarin. Uh, okay. it, it was originally in, in Japanese in Nihongo, but they mm -hmm. translated back to Mandarin. Which is interesting because the author did the original German Mandarin. But anyway, it's like Google Translate. I know, I know, it's both ways, okay. right? Right. So, um, so yeah, um, if your students can read Mandarin, um, that there, there's that book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think the the name is just called "Also Can Die the Zhiyou Yu Wei Lai," the the freedom and future that I see. Okay. Cool. It's from Qin Zi Tian Xia. Our students have shorter attention spans. Do you have like a nice YouTube video about you that you can recommend? Has anyone made a um, Well, like? there's many ones in Nihongo, but okay. <laughs> I'm not sure that there's a, a short one. Uh, but but uh, I think it's okay because Jeff if, will make one. Yeah. Qing Zi Xia is the same magazine. Came to interview with you. Uh, oh yeah yeah. May May yes. or June. Yeah yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you search for Qin Zi Tian Xia and my name and time form, okay. you will see like any number of from like very short essays to long-ish videos and things okay. like that. So because they, they kind of already covered the kind of full angle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so based on your expected attention span, maybe you can do a kind of a ladder of attention span when you do like 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I just want them to have some sort of context, Thanks. right? Get, get, get better question here okay. if you want to say Okay. Um, are you interested in receiving one of our products if you make one? No, as long as it doesn't exceed three thousand and two dollars. It would be free. It would be free. Good I enough. mean, in, in its materials, but yes. You know, like something, something for your office that might be a conversation starter, and people can scan it. What do you, what do you want for your office? I don't know. Anything what do you need? Like, what do you need? Yeah, if we could yeah. serve a need, or because we'll, we'll get the kids like here's. Here's Audrey's wish list of things, uh, and they'll try to design something to fit okay, your needs. Okay. Um, but do I don't need anything. So oh, okay. <laughs> Just something ornamental or something sure. more functional. One of our students is making a sculpture mm -hmm. that is, has a story and a lesson behind mm -hmm. it. A client bottle would be nice. A what? A client bottle. A client bottle. Yeah. What is a client bottle? There's a client bottle. It's a, yeah, it's a Merbius strip in oh, two so dimensions. Oh, so cool! Yeah. What is it? Um, it's a Merbius strip in, in three dimensions. Right. You could 3D print that. Yeah, you could 3D print that. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Oh, yeah, we have <laughs> it's, a 3D printer. Yeah, it's, it's, it's harder to make without a 3D printer. Yeah, this material, would probably, it's, not, mm -hmm. it's not good with curves. But yeah, maybe we can make one of those and mm -hmm. something for your office. Yeah, but, they can mm -hmm. like... Engineering, like maybe it can be in mm -hmm. multiple sections. Yeah, it's a it's a good um, subject to, yeah. to learn about topology, uh, and it doesn't need to uh, be curvy. Um, for for it to be a client bottle, you can also resemble a, a mug or something. Okay. Uh, the the topological property is less important. Like this is a client bottle too, and it allows two liquids to be held in the same time. Oh. Anyway, um, so, okay. so it could also be shipped that way. So cool. So like yeah. Pine bottles. That would be yes. even like something exciting for them to research and learn mm -hmm. about. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, people to Yeah, there's there's like two chambers essentially. Oh. And and they are well connected, but roughly. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nice. Easy to work. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it'd be cool, you know, maybe we can thank you for a visit mm -hmm. or something. And yeah. The kids will be motivated to Make something for somebody, right? And that could be a sea change. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have important people meeting you all the time. And it's like, what's that? Yeah, it's a client. Well, scan this. Yeah, scan this. Scan yeah, this. Learn about this cool project. Thank, Thank you. you. That's, That's great. Mm -hmm. It would tie uh, to the uh, phone cha, the, the tea serving app that I'm also promoting, which is a water refill map. So if I get this client bottle, I can use it instead of buying new plastic. Uh, drinks. Um, they, uh, the, the map can show where's the nearby water refill stations. And once you refill and check in at the point, 
not only can you have a discussion with people who are also check in with the point about water quality or whatever, like Pokemon Go, uh, but also by collecting like 50 uh, consecutive checkpoints and basically that's a habit change thing, uh, then uh, you can redeem it uh, for like specialty drinks and, and stuff uh, like that. What's it called? What's it's, yeah. called it's called Feng Cha. Feng Cha. Um, yeah, so the tea serving app. Yeah, uh, if you have any, if you have any English, cool, like, like Circu Plus. Circu Plus. Yeah, C I R C U P L U S. That would, that would be a cool if you have any like list of eco friendly apps or these mm -hmm. kinds of things because mm -hmm. our kids are on their, on their phones all the time anyway, so might as well mm -hmm. have like a list of cool apps mm -hmm. that they could be using. Yeah, Circu Plus is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Work on Google Maps layer is that mm -hmm. will. You turn on turn on a Type A and you can see eco friendly businesses. Yeah. And we're working on that. That map layer right now, mm -hmm. but this is a little bit more in depth. Yeah, the so. the phone chai is uh, the gamification layer. Okay, if you complete a mission, you get this number of coins. Nice. What's that coming out? Cool. Cool. Yeah, it's um, already out. I think it's already out. out. Oh, yeah. that's cool. And the winner of this year's presidential hackathon. So nice. yeah, we're cool. kind of obligated to promote. Yeah, yeah that would that'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. Pokemon Go meets yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it, it's focused on plastic bottles, so uh, oh, okay. yeah. right, right up here. Oh, wow, awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <coughs> this the opening, uh, yeah, on, on the you opening, can download. So, yeah, on the opening screen, it shows how many plus bottles the users have saved. Oh, okay. Cool. And maybe you can send me a screenshot of that. So mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus. Okay, so it's to reduce plastic bottles because you get points for refilling your mm -hmm. actual mm -hmm. bottle. Right? Yeah, that's right, that's right. And then how do you register mm -hmm. a station? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you either go through the Environmental Protection Authority map, or you can yeah. just apply to the app itself. Uh, like wow. if you're a, a tea shop that offers free refills and so on, then you can register okay. directly to the app. But if you uh, are a place where the EPA already inspects our water quality and so on, the EPA has a uh, like collaboration, a data collaborative relationship with the app. Okay. Yeah. But if we put a water machine in our lobby, that would mm -hmm. that be possible? Yeah, of course. And, then, cool? and then they'll, they'll give you this very fine sticker with a cargo in it that you can decorate your uh, water machine. Oh, cool. And, and people can then walk by and scan it down with the app. Oh, yeah, or you can have them within the schools. So yeah. Those are kind of rewarding. Yeah, I have one in my, in my office in the Social Innovation Lab. Oh, okay. Yeah. Two, actually, but yes. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. And you can get one of those water stations and look yeah. it up to this app. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, it's funny right now, the kids are, <laughs> one, one kid at the student-led conference said he's actually drinking water out of plastic bottles on purpose so he can shred it. <laughs> he enjoys the shredding process. I know. I'm like, can't miss the mark, but at least you're recycling. I know. Because uh, he has like a plastic goal to make his project, so. It's uh, a face. Yeah. It's uh, a face. <laughs> you better use a re reusable yeah. one, but he's at least thinking about direction. Sure. Okay. Yeah, these are cool connections. Mm -hmm. Um, Are there any like cool projects you're working on these days? Yeah, so, uh, yeah the presentation I think it's on. It's of course pretty cool. Um, in addition to the Circuit Plus, um, also check out the other winners. Uh, there's five winners each year. Um, they get a trophy from the president. Uh, the trophy carries no award money, but it's a projector that when turned on shows the president's image promising the team whatever they did in the past three months will become national policy in the next wow. uh, So it's presidential power as head of the war. It's like a hologram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is well, it it's like really two dimensional projection. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> but, but, but Star Wars yeah, but <laughs> you take it to the office and go see. I know, I know. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, That's pretty cool. Yeah, it would be nice to to try that next thing. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So um, I think one of the the main um, ideas we want to get across is that the public service is actually very innovative and very um, very much into innovation. Uh, but they are of course uh, much more innovative if um, they don't have to absorb the the risk. Uh, if uh, the ideas don't turn out uh, to, to be working, right? So the collaboration is between the social sector, such as the social enterprise that came up with this uh, Circuit Plus to serving app, but also the Environmental Protection Agency, which supply all its data. So it's like reverse procurement, right? So we are the vendor of the social sector. Okay. Um, and um, there's many cases in the presidential hackathon. There's one called Patch Pipe by planting that you might also be interested is working, I think, with Taoyuan City uh, intensely now uh, to uh, basically take a look at all the unused 
uh, spaces that are owned by the city or metropolitan governments and just um, ask people nearby to use their phone and augmented reality to uh, imagine how it would be like to plant trees uh, on those unused spaces and then motivate people to actually go and take care of the trees uh, that they helped uh, planting. Uh, and it's a pretty nice uh, work. And also, there's also another one that uh, sends the real-time alerts through like the teaser being app but many other apps as well um, when there's um, a um, like almost 40 degrees heat uh, people forget to drink their waters mm -hmm. and, and so on uh, and so it's a way to like easily alert not only individuals but also let individuals uh, take care of their families mm -hmm. and friends and so on um, to react to, to heat damage uh, as early as possible. Um, there's also one about using smart meters to without kind of measuring individual devices like um, the refrigerator or the air conditioner and so on, just based on the smart meters outside of your home, it can, through machine learning, tell you whether it's the fridge or whether it's the air conditioner or the water machine that's consuming way more electricity. Mm -hmm. than the the exactly, exactly. Oh, okay. And then you, you can just change your usage patterns uh, or if it's like really, um, buggy and leaky, you can, you can change to a like, newer device if needed, and so on. So that's also a pretty good yeah, uh, idea. Really cool. um, there's finally the fifth winner um, is um, which is um, in the supermarkets when you scan the barcode of, say, a um, case of cookies, uh, it usually gives you the price, right? But if you scan it through their app, it shows the price that the environment has to pay. Uh, oh to produce gosh, that sort of thing. That's uh, a nice thing. So, so it's form. called Tongming Zuqi, like the mm -hmm. trans. Yeah, I think they, they just go by their, their Dai Yi uh, uh, spelling. So uh, T H A U B I N G. Right. B I N G. Right. And, and so uh, I, I think it's, it's a really good idea because not only does it um, like visualize the, the environmental impact negative ones uh, and it also has the potential to show the positive ones mm -hmm. um, as well um, and so it connects the um, customers back uh, to the producers and it also gives the producers much more incentive uh, to work in a pro environment manner. Yeah, like mm -hmm. This beef came from 9,000 miles away exactly, or something, right? Exactly. Why not buy the one that's yeah, right here? Right, right, that's right, that's okay. right. Yeah, this asparagus, which looks vegan and is vegan, is actually causing a lot of carbon yeah. emissions. It got blown <laughs> on an airplane, it flown across yeah. the sea. <laughs> that's just the, okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think they're, they're focusing on uh, pollution uh, at the very beginning now, but uh, it has the potential to, to scale to all sorts of things around the chain. Back to the patch by planting yeah. app. Um, so the AR, the augmented reality tree, so they can see mm -hmm. it, and it looks beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Does anything yeah. ever happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they yeah, actually yeah. start planting trees yeah. after that? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. because they work with, the, say, the Taoyuan uh, municipal government who already have uh, a commitment uh, to plant X number of trees. The point okay. is just to find out uh, where are the communities support the strongest, so that people can collectively take care of the trees. Oh, okay. One of our one of our sea change products is our, our eco bricks. Mm -hmm. All the bits that we can't recycle. And those yeah. make really good planters when you mm -hmm. try to put the base yeah. in. It'd be cool to connect. Does Taipei have something like? Yeah, patch by planting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, okay. If you go to a patch by planting, it's a large community. Okay. Uh, and they can, you know, just look at a presidential office yeah. and just just through AR calculate what what it would be like uh, to to plant trees. Okay. Uh, yeah, it'd be cool to support them with like some eco bricks or something. Yeah, yeah it would be nice. It would be nice. Uh, yeah, so so all five actually have some alignment, I would say, uh, okay. to to your vision. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we need, I mean, uh, the more chances to get the 30% plastic down, the better. That's right. So, we have more um, you know, avenues to deliver. Mm -hmm. well, I hope this project evolves over more than a year, right? If we can keep the recycling going, it's, it can be repurposed and rethemed and looked at different yeah, directions. Sure, sure. These are really you're, you're also welcome to enter a next thing presidential hack. <laughs> Do I have to know how to code? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, if, if you have a good design, uh, we can do matchmaking and okay. find you the coders. Okay, so you just put proposals then and yeah, somebody yeah, can yeah. find it. Yeah, we'll start with, with what, what's called a wishing well or a shu uh, and then and then people just, um, the, the only thing we require is you need to align uh, sustainable development goals to it. 
okay. which is no problem. Okay. A hackathon project. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Residential hackathon. Mm -hmm. All right. I have a question. It yes. might be like a little bit off topic, sure. but um, I'm wondering, in your opinion. Uh, in like what, what in like the social and environmental sector uh, in Taiwan could use the most improvement? In mm. your opinion. You mean like. So like maybe. Infinite power. In, okay. Oh, energy. Infinite power. Yeah. Like fusion energy. Fusion reactor. Yeah, fusion reactor or yes. nuclear waste reactor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that that's that's one of the the main things. That we're, we're focused on nowadays it, it goes from like the the most simple thing about storing electricity so that um, on the peak hours we don't have to make um, difficult trade-offs um, all, all the way to advanced research yeah. okay. interesting i wouldn't have thought about energy mm -hmm. being like a, a priority mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what are you drawing over there? I'm drawing Audrey. You drawing my cartoon? Ah, portrait. She will give you a surprise later. Except, except it's a landscape. <laughs> 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 Last time you drew me, you made my neck really big. I was like, come on, Chet. My neck isn't really that big, is it? It's pretty big. Uh, <laughs> no, just, I think we saw conscious of Audrey. Call it how it is. Hey, hey, hey no. Nothing Wait until you're 40. N nothing you can't fix in close perfection. <laughs> <laughs> Photoshop is amazing. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's awesome. All these are, I, I really like these hackathon idea. That's really cool. And, uh, yeah, the hackathon. Cashback plan is pretty cool too. Yeah. I think the students get the most out of it when they're, when they really feel like they're doing something that's part of the community, not just for school. Right? When they like do a project because the teacher tells them to do a project, like, they'll just do it. But when they're really involved with it mm -hmm. and they realize that it can actually make a change in the world, yeah. regardless of if the teacher helps or not. That's yeah. when they're like really involved. So like that kind of thing where it's like, mm -hmm. oh, this is like a project, this is like a hackathon. This this is for Taiwan. This is That's for right. this is not the school yeah. thing. This is for yes. that kind of thing really yeah. cool. truly shared uh, common purpose. Right. right, exactly. And while the presidential hackathon is more like the national level where we care about energy and smart meters and so on, uh, a more immediate like connecting community may be found at the municipal level. So, for example, um, that book just near you called "Build Our Own Ideas." Uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, you can you can flip through it or, or even just take it. <laughs> I mean, I, I've got the electronic version, <laughs> right? So, so it's the uh, voluntary local report um, <clears throat> of the. I think the copy you have now is the New Taipei City, um, and about all the social and environmental contribution. Uh, that, uh, according to the SDG index, uh, that uh, people in the new city are, are making. So it's like a catalog uh, of similar minded groups and people uh, as endorsed by the new city government. So it is like our presidential hackathon uh, reports, but uh, much more day to day and also uh, limited in kind of scale because it's uh, one municipality. There's very similar reports uh, from the Taoyuan city uh, and the, the Taipei city. Okay. Uh, I think they could all be found online. Cool. There's a nice Lego block design here too. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'm curious what those blocks are out there. Do these serve a function? I think it's explained uh, somewhere, but maybe just to to remind people of the SDGs. Right? Mm. These are the SDG mm. shaped blocks. As long as they can. Yeah, I'm trying to see if you can for a project. Sea uh, change project gets a lot of them. Uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty proud of it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I just want to ask a bunch of nerdy sci-fi questions, but yes, this is pertaining. Star Wars or Star Trek? Both. Which one is yeah. The children make choices. You got it. You got it. That's a good answer. You can only watch one for the rest of your life. And I have to choose. Left eye one. And right. <laughs> <It's the laughs> <stereoscopic>. <laughs> same time. Uh, okay. Like Lucy, you know. <laughs> Two laptops. <laughs> Usually that's the first question that it diverges into the I know. I know. Realms and stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. Awesome. So um, that's 
pretty much it. I think so. Do okay, you have anything else you want to ask us? Or? No, I'll see you on Slido. Yeah, see you on Slido. Yeah, I was, I was just checking the in the Slido from time to time. Oh, and great. See what structure uh, you have built. Kind of happening there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we'll be we'll be working on that. Mm-hmm. We'll see December seventh. That's right. Um, we'll do a little research on Klein bottles and mm-hmm. see what we can do with yeah. that. Recycled like plastic. And that, if it um, comes, no worries. Well, we'll try idea. something. You know, like I think mm-hmm. it's cool to be like, mm-hmm. you know, Audrey wants this thing, make mm-hmm. it happen. That's a, that's a project. See what would come up with. Here's the materials you have to work with. Mm-hmm. Here's what Audrey wants, and do what do it. See what happens. Yeah, if they can't make a flying bottle, they can make a Mobius strip. That's very easy to make. A what? A two-dimensional version of the flying bottle. Oh, uh, okay. Mobius strip. Okay. okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. And thank yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks thank for you. seeing us so today. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you didn't say it. Did you have to sit finish? here for you another know. few minutes. You <laughs> 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 can't rush the process. <laughs> my, little, my little sketch. Can't rush the process. <laughs> <laughs> really like it. <laughs> you want to take a photo together? <laughs> yeah, go. Of course. No <laughs> <laughs> blood. <laughs> Very soon. All right. Thank you. Uh, and I'll be around here, I guess. Oh, yes. I want oh, to a portrait. Oh, oh, this is like oh, a family okay. portrait. Oh, my neck, <laughs> the one my neck is so big. I don't want to do anymore. <laughs>